If you doubting me, let me know because I'm going to buy you a bag. What you want? Chanel or Gucci? <laughs> JK and today as you know because it is Friday and I just did a little announcement earlier um, yesterday well late yesterday saying that I'm going to be sticking to a like a YouTube schedule where I'm going to be bringing you beauty content vlogs and business content so you can get everything basically like my life all in every week I'll be giving you different things so today is Friday, so that means I'm giving you business content. So I took to Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me questions about my, me being a business owner and my boutique. Now I'm going to answer these questions that you got me. So first question, how was it starting off? So how was it like for me starting off? I was excited, of course. I was so ready to do this. In the beginning, I was like... I was too much I was too impulsive like I wanted everything I wanted everything to happen now like I needed this I wanted my site to be up I wanted this I needed these packages to come in like I needed this I like I was just rushing and it literally showed cuz my website looked like shit <laughs> nothing matched I didn't have no aesthetic now look at my website I wish I had old pictures of my website like I literally wish I had that but look how like pretty my website is now like in the beginning it was so ugly I used my vendors photos I didn't take I didn't invest in my business and take pictures by myself or of my products I just used their photos which now it's a huge difference for the orders I get now and the orders I didn't get because and I understand that when I see people selling stuff and I'm like you just use the vendors photos like I want to see how it looks on you and I totally understand that and now I see a difference but yeah I was just so impulsive so ready to like get everything done and I definitely rushed everything I thought I knew so much because I read so many vlog blogs on um, online I read so many articles I watched so many videos of like business people and I thought I figured out everything but until you actually step in it and you in it and you a business owner and you have your own shit and you paying these bills to run your own stuff it's a whole different ball game so I would just say and that was only me like I didn't have no help I didn't have a team you know like when you first do a uh, open up a business people support you like your family and friends and it's like oh not no more but that really was not my case well, only one friend supported me when I first uh, opened up my boutique online only one friend that was in Molina shout out to in Molina but she was the only one the only one and I would still be talking to people like that were my friends because it was I think a year after high, I graduated high school. So, you know, you still talk to the people you were around in high school. But, yeah, she was the only one. And we weren't even close like that. So, shout out to her. But, yeah, after that faded away, like, my family and my one friend supporting me, it was like, okay, Angel, now you got to, like, hustle. Now you, now you got to go out there and get business. And I really didn't know how to do that. I knew how to order everything. I knew how to like run the site and stuff like that but i didn't know how to sell a product i didn't know how to sell a product back then but that's a whole nother video so next question what made you decide to have a boutique i always wanted to have my own business i want several businesses but i love going shopping like i love spending my mama money my daddy money my aunt's money my husband money i don't like spending my money but I love spending like money on like stuff, like beauty products, clothes, hair stuff. Like I love it. I love it. I love it. And I was like, I want this. Like I want people to come in somewhere or shop online and be like, oh my gosh, all this is cute. Like what do I want? Or just love being on something that's a part of me. You know what I'm saying? So I just like, I want to open up this first. The first thing I wanted to open up on that boutique because it was easy instead of all my other dreams are like, you need a little bit of guap to do those things but this was easy to start off with so I was like let me just let me open up a boutique and it sound cute like a boutique it sound cute <laughs> next question is how did I get everything together to start my own boutique so like I said I read articles watch videos um, read a lot of blogs and people that have their own boutique I just got a lot of information from the internet and stuff like that. Google is always your best friend. If you don't know something, just Google it. Next question is, is Envy the only business you want or do you want to branch out to something else? Like, I definitely want to. Like, I'm trying to be a millionaire, y'all. A billionaire, a trillionaire. Like, I want it all. But yeah, uh, Envy is just the beginning. 
I, re I really have something up my sleeve that's going to be coming up probably in like the next few months. So stay tuned for that. But I want to have a lot of businesses. I won't say them because I don't know. I feel like my dreams are so huge. It might be like scary to you. And I know when people dream big, it's like, girl, you can't do that. And I hate that feeling because it's like I want it all and I know I can. I manifest it. I pray about it. And, you know, everything's going to line up for me. And I'm going to be rich and I'm going to buy you a bag. If you doubted me, let me know because I'm going to buy you a bag. What you want? Chanel or Gucci? What? Chanel? Okay. I got you. Next question is, someone just said I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you. I'm trying to, you know, do my best, work hard. And play even harder so thank you next question is what keeps you motivated what keeps me motivated is social media <laughs> it's social media Pinterest um, T television like I see things I'm like oh I want that like I want to have a family so I know I got to go out there and get it so I can save up to have a family I know I'll be on Pinterest I'm like, oh my gosh I want this house oh my gosh I want this big old tub and I'm like angel you need to go sell this product right now you need to order today get two orders today like i'll be doing that you know what i'm saying like that motivates me and just you know people that are around me that work hard too and me seeing their goals just other people on social media motivates me so the next question is how does your husband contribute Derek is very supportive of me I love him. He, um, in the beginning, he, like, even gave me, he would give me, like, $200, $300, y'all, to put him to my site. Like, that's love. And we wasn't married. Like, you don't have to do that. I mean, he would just, I mean, he would pay for school for me. Like, you don't have to do that. Like, he's always been supportive. And, you know, that's how I just know that we really love each other on a deeper level. And this is the time where we were celibate. So, we weren't having sex, but you were giving me money for my site and you know um helping me pay for school so that's just like real love and a real support system but that's another topic about the celibacy thing but let me know if y'all want to talk about it because we could talk about it you want to talk about it okay let me know do you think you would ever open a boutique um i wanted to at first that was a goal but then i did a lot of research on a boutique and you know like a lot of boutiques are shutting down now and it's becoming online i definitely would like to have a like a show for a store where people can pick up their orders like if they're in dallas or something if i get so huge like maybe do one in la or something like that i definitely would want that to have like a cute showroom and maybe have like a couple pieces of the week where people can come and shop and maybe try that on or something like that but not like a whole store like like a Route 21 or Forever 21 like I wouldn't want that right now that's not really like what I see in my future but I definitely want to go super big with this online boutique and I want to start doing more pop-up shops and stuff like that so so the next question is if you could what is something you would have done differently when you first started, like I said, I would slow down. I would make sure I do my research and I would not rush stuff. Like I said, my website was ugly as fuck. It was so ugly. I thought it was cute. Like I had put a little cute little background on there and I thought I was like booming. It was ugly. Like it's, it was ugly. It was ugly. But yeah, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I would just slow down. I would not buy things for other people y'all it's so much i could talk to y'all about about business and like i would not buy stuff for other people y'all gotta listen i'm i'm gonna start preaching let me shut up let me drink this liquor all right yeah so i'll slow down i would invest in my business more i think i was so ready to put out so much different products and a lot of product like a lot of inventory i would want if i bought this shirt from my site i would want 10 10 of these in each size a small medium large instead of doing like no angel just get five in each side and get another outfit you know what i'm saying i just know i wanted a lot like i thought everybody was gonna be on my shit no my site was crickets you know what i'm saying no no but it's so that's like a whole nother topic i can tell y'all about i could do like mistakes that i made as a boutique owner but i know y'all don't like when i post long videos because i be reading my stats and y'all so what you call it if 
First of all, I forgot what I was talking about. And y'all so... I don't fucking know. What was I saying? It's gonna come to me. But y'all don't like long videos. I get it. So I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet. Okay? But I really wanna tell y'all about yourself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm gonna think about it. So the next question is, where do I see myself in the next two years? I low key, well, for my business, I think, cause I was gonna start just naming shit. But for my business, I think that, mm, I think I'll probably switch the site that I'm using. I'll use Wix right now. I think I'll move over to like a bigger platform, maybe like Shopify or something like that, which is not that bigger, but it's better. And a lot of the big brands that y'all shop on online, if you, uh, those big brands that y'all shop on, they use like, bigger and better platforms to host their uh, domains and things like that so I think I'll switch over to that I definitely think I will have I hope to have a showroom I definitely feel like in two years Envy gonna be Envy gonna be up there like I'm trying y'all and I'll be chubby tired but I'm trying and I definitely want to continue to give y'all what y'all want I try to ask y'all things what do y'all want so I can put it on there I don't want to just pick what I want like well tell me what you want what do you like what do you like? If you gonna have it, what do you like? Tell me. Tell me. Come on. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna put it on there. Oh, that is all of the questions for today. I mean, there was more, but you know, I gotta keep it short. And they were kind of like weird questions. They weren't weird, but it was like, I feel like I couldn't keep it short and sweet on those questions. Like that would be have to be another whole topic. But if you like this, come back next Friday for another business content video and we're going we're going comment below what y'all want to talk about on the next business video let me know bye